Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to iCraft SMP and it's raining. Yes, it actually is raining here in California. Probably one of the few days that the rain has actually happened. Uh, our governor here has declared that the drought is over. Yay! So now we can use water again. Yay! <laughs> right? Actually, a lot of our lakes are overflowing. Rivers are bulging. People are getting flooded now, especially where they build in the lowlands. They really shouldn't build in the lowland. So we are here in the mini game area. Yes, with the other rail station. This is the other rail station we had built some time ago. Um, I'm actually here mostly to gather some supplies. I need a few things from these sheep here, but I don't think I have the bone meal for. Oh, geez, I just really. I just dropped myself in there. I don't think I have the bone meal for it. I'm gonna have to go hunting for some bone meal and it's getting dark now. So let me go grab some bone meal. I've got uh, to do a supply run. That's the only reason I'm here. Actually, we are going to do something else here as soon as, as soon as we get some supplies. Okay guys, I got bad news. There is a major fire. There's a major fire and we need to, oh God. Loose, oh God, I can't, I can't stop the fire guys. I'm gonna die, and I can't stop the fire! This is horrible. Come on, get the- uh, How do you put out the fire? There it goes. Okay, stop the- Oh no, 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 no! Oh, jeez. Yeah, you see him? Yeah, there's a gas there. Luke's gonna be so mad at me. Okay, let's get rid of this guy! Let's get rid of this guy! Got him. What do you destroy? This is just crazy, guys. How is it my build survived? That's just crazy. Okay, I need to do something with this roof. This roof needs to get um, shrunken. I need to talk to Luke about this. <laughs> He's gonna make me pay for the damages. Fortunately, I am gathering wool, but not for that purpose. I wasn't gathering wool to fix damages like this, but oops. <laughs> oops, it's all like a, oh, I got some carpet. Oh, cool. I actually have some carpet in my hand. Let me go ahead and apply some of it to repair some of the damages that uh, I don't know if this was meant to be two or three. It looks like it was meant to be two. I think I got some more carpets. Okay, friends, we are out here at our um, mini game, or a piece of it anyways, the, the rail minecart mini game. I've yet to finish it. I'm hoping today I can take this rail track that you see right there behind me and connected to the one that down there. Sure, I could just go right down the staircase there, but what fun would that be, right? What kind of fun would that be? And besides, I also have to fix up the edges, but for now, I just want to connect the track. I'll worry about the decor like afterwards. So what I'm going to do with this rail is we are going to take, oh, I should have brought wood. I didn't bring any wood. I have more wood on the other side. Anyway, so I'm, I'm going to connect the rail track going over the mushrooms and then kind of coming down this way a little ways and then coming back over this way maybe going over the mushrooms again and then coming down and then going over this way again and then what I think now I think I said I wanted to go in front of the waterfall but I think now what I might want to do is see if I can go behind the waterfall that would be actually a really really cool effect if I can make that work so let's see if I can even do this uh, I would like to go maybe two back from the front and then just kind of dig my way through here. It'd be kind of weird if I found a cave, but let's see what I can get out of this. Oh, that would be such a cool effect. Guys, oh, no, I wanted to make that one stone, but okay. Yeah, that would be such, 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 such a cool effect if I can go right behind the waterfall like this. So let's see what I can do. Friend, check out how this awesome this is right here. This is just like really awesome. Look at the effect it has. I wouldn't mind like digging down a little bit just so it drops down, but no, this is like a really, really cool effect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hopefully find a way to replace all of this and make the back wall be stone. And then with the track itself, the track itself should probably enter right around here. And so this piece will have to go away and that will end up being a piece of stone. And it's going to be stone brick, actually, right here. And then the rest of it is going to be basically stone brick. That's kind of what I've been doing. I've been putting in... Yeah, right about, right about to here. And then it goes over this way a little ways. And that way a little ways. And so on and so on. So, yeah, I've basically been putting in stone brick. 
for anything inside and then wood for anything outside. So it's kind of like a wood trellis and stuff. And I think I should probably take these two out. There we go. That way it's a little bit more even. And then we will just pop ourselves out right about here. And that will work just fine. Oh, there's free coal. But I need to free up my inventory a little bit. I have not enough room. All right, friends, I got my bridge work done, so to speak. My, at least my, what do you call this? A, a mountain climbing thingamajig. But it does look a bit ugly. A bit ugly, I gotta say. So I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. It actually works really well to leave it like this to some degree. But I am gonna change it up a little bit. What I might do here is I might shove this into the wall a, a little bit. And maybe even drop it down another one just when it goes into the wall. Then just kind of do the same thing until it eventually matches up with that spot there. And then that part that goes across, we need to actually make some type of bridge that works. And that just means essentially making another line here and another line there. And then probably putting a bridge support system down that way. So we'll see what we do with that. So let me go ahead and take some time to rearrange the tracks here. Because I do like how this drops here, but I just don't like how it it just flows. It just doesn't flow well. So let me see if I can fix that. Okay, friends, my designs are ever-changing. I opted to do that with that there. I'm not quite done with it. And as you can see, I made a bridge wider here. And I'm opting to do a suspension-type bridge. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. But I'm going to try it because I've got a bunch of these I could use and we will see what happens with that. But I do have to uh, tear this out actually because I forgot to do this section and the bottom section. But the bottom section technically I could just add another layer or three of puzzle. But I'll see how that plays out because I may not want to actually do that. All right, friends, I made like a little mini suspension bridge. I think it actually came out kind of nice, especially for a mini, mini design suspension bridge. You know, it, it looks nice. It goes across like it's supposed to. I'm not sure about this block here, but I could do just take this block out, stick it with a just a puzzle or something, something else just to cover up the edges there. That will do perfectly. And then I could do much the same thing on this side just to kind of cover up the edge here as well. And that way you can kind of see it going straight across versus versus just hanging off on the edge there. And it works out really well, I think. And what I might just do here is just do the same thing and put a piece of dirt there. But I think that kind of detracts from things if I do that. And so I could always use a piece of stone. I'm not sure. I just feel like this side needs to be connected to something like how that side did. So hard to deal with this, but I like it open. I really do. Anyway, so let me go ahead and tear up the back wall here and turn this back wall into stone. Now, of course, guys, I had some mossy cobble, or not mossy cobble, but mossy stone brick. And so I put that throughout the whole thing. And what I may end up doing also is maybe tearing this out. I don't know. I kind of like the stone down there, but I only have three more of these. I'd have to go take all of my little find and stuff out and, and make more. But realistically, I could make all of this stone just to have it all be stone. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, it's getting dark, so I gotta get back to a bed. I'm not sure about this. This just looks kind of funky. I need to do a little connecting with these and just kind of connect it together. But it works. It, it works. You know, it works to at least hold that up there. Uh, though, what I may also do, too, is... Um, Kind of like a trellis bridge here as well. I'm going to have to do that after I get back from the bed. So let me see what I can do with this spot. All right, that looks a lot better. I just have to change those into planks. And I think that will cover this section here a lot better. Now, something else I noticed I could do is I could actually make it like how I made that. Where I make a curve, like an actual curve with the stairs. Just something to try, you know. It doesn't hurt to try stuff. I don't mind trying out ideas and see what happens because you know I might find that I might like it so let me go ahead and try to make a curve up there if I can and I can't get up there I will just use one of these just convenience just for convenience come on I'm too far I'm just too far all right friends I think that actually came out really nice I like how it looked and there's a suspension bridge in that color and this one's actually perfect in the color that it's in 
And I don't think I need to turn that into stone, although I could. I could turn this particular piece into stone, but then it might look a little weird. And I'll have to pay, pay attention to that. Let's see. Ooh, ew, I almost killed myself. Goodness. But yeah, so like if I turn this, this portion here into stone, what will it actually do? Because I could actually make it worse than it already is. Or I can make it slightly better than it already is. So let's 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 try it out. And now I'm starting to oh, okay that that's why that was there. Okay, so let's put that. No, you're not a piece of stone. There. Let's see what that looks like. And I think that could cover it. It doesn't have to be the whole thing covered in stone. And then because it's a little bit deep, what I could just do is just stick that there and it will eventually turn itself into grass at some point. Yeah, I think that will do it. I think that will look a little bit nicer. Yeah, I like that a lot better. And then, of course, we have our railroad going down, and it comes around through the, the bridge. And this is where we are ending our trip, at least. I've yet to connect it. Oh, my goodness. Why? Well, I just haven't gotten there yet. I'm not sure if I want to use this. Let, let me show you what's down here real quick. What down here is a spooky cave. Yes, I think at the time I didn't have an, an, enough light to light it up or anything. But you could definitely see there is a wonderful creeper hanging out down here wanting to blow me to smithereens. Yes, Mr. Creeper, come on up here. I dare you. I dare you, Mr. Creeper. I dare you. But no, I don't think I'm going to take the train down that way. It would be kind of cool. But I think what I'll do is go, go right next to it. And that might just be the easier way to go versus going right around it. You know what I mean? Let me get myself back out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this building of a trellis bridge and a suspension bridge, as you can see here. Um, I'm just riding the last bit of the rail just to make sure it tests properly. But yes, this view is absolutely wonderful. And I'm wondering if I should maybe put some lights in here. That would be kind of cool to have a little ure urethral glow, I guess you could say, to the style there. And I gotta get my shulker box back. Oh no, I left my shulker box there. Anywho, off we go. We're gonna call it quits. If you guys liked this episode, oh my goodness, this is like gonna hurt your eyeballs. I'm so sorry if I'm just zooming in like that too many times. But yes, if you liked this episode, please do like, subscribe, and definitely leave me a comment. I'm gonna to go back into first person view just so you don't hurt your eyeballs and where we have left of this this trip here is this section right here i'm not entirely sure what the easiest and best way to approach it down there is a ravine and i need to find a way to get one get into the ravine two do something with the ravine and three put a bunch of rails in it so i'm not entirely sure how i'm gonna go about doing that just yet that's going to be a mystery for another day. Not sure when. But in the next episode, one of the reasons I was teasing you with my gathering at the very beginning of this episode, I do have to tell you guys, there is something I'm going to be doing for the next episode. I really hope you enjoy it. I hope... Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I was about to reveal what was about to happen, but I'm not going to say it. You guys will have to figure it out based on what you saw. Okay, guys. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Once I get my shulker box, of course. Once I get my shulker box! Oh no, not the tree, not the tree, not the tree! Oh no! Hello, Creeper! Come on, come on, my inventory's not even set up properly. Come on, don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Oh, thank goodness.